This channel is proudly partnered with the What The Funk shop. Please check out their store for all sorts of products. They have dice, miniatures, game master screens, home decorations, and many other things. You will find the link in the description and in the pinned comment. And make sure that you use my code for a special discount. Hi, welcome to this part of my review featuring City of God. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review, featuring this tabletop RPG of demonic horror investigations, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about the gameplay loop. I was going to talk about the generation or creation of missionaries, but the explanation on the gameplay loop is somewhat oddly placed just before that. City of God is a narrative theater of the mind investigation game involving a group of friends who play the role of missionaries. Okay, I don't like the use of theater of the mind. In many tabletop RPGs it is used incorrectly. It says here you are playing the role of missionaries. You are not playing the roles of actors. You are not actors in a theater. There is no theater of the mind. Your imagination places you within the fiction, within the setting as if it were real. It is not a play, a stage play. It is not a stage play. And remember, actors do not describe their actions, so the use of theater of the mind is quite nonsensical. You can say the mind's eye as if you are using like the third eye, but there is no, no theater. You are actually within that fiction, you are not playing the roles of actors, unless it is a tabletop RPG based on, on theater. Maybe it's a tabletop role-playing game where you are actually playing the roles of actors within a play. That could work. Now it says here, one of these missionaries takes on the role of narrator, the game's chief storyteller and arbiter of the investigation. You are not telling stories about your characters, you are experiencing the game world as your characters. You can tell a story after the session is over. You are not telling a story such as the missionary went into the cabin and found an ancient stone statue, he touch the statue and then a demon came out of nowhere. No, you are playing a role within a game, tabletop role-playing game. This is not a storytelling RPG hybrid game such as Hardy Boys, Raven, Children of the Fall. So yes, there are a lot of errors in this section. Now it says here, missionaries cannot hope to defeat demons with raw power alone. Instead, they must search for clues interrogate witnesses and find connections between the disturbing events happening around them in order to uncover the weaknesses of the demons. These weaknesses are called veins. The more understanding you gain of how a demon's power works and what their weaknesses are, the easier they will be to banish with your prayers and inquisitions. Prayers and inquisitions are religious spells which allow a missionary to aid their investigation or combat the demonic forces threatening them and their allies. However, only certain types of prayers or inquisitions will permanently banish a demon back to the nether realm from whence they came. Prayers and inquisitions are powered by devotion and corruption in the form of points. These points are gained when you act in accordance with your chosen religious creed or when you perform actions that are for or against the will of God. When it comes to the game loop itself, first you investigate demons in order to discover their weaknesses, known as banes, as explained earlier. While investigating, gain devotion or corruption points when you act in accordance with your religious beliefs. These points are spent on prayers, which are holy spells used to banish demons. Then you combine prayers with your knowledge of a demon's bane to permanently banish them. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part, we are going to talk about missionary creation. This section is good in general, but you have those couple of errors. But nonetheless, it gives you a clear idea of how the game proceeds. Thank you for watching this part of the review. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, consider joining as a member and enjoying exclusive tabletop RPG tips. You can also use the super thanks button and check out the pinned comment below. This has been Abraham L. Jaguar, a professional game master. I am currently unavailable for professional sessions, but I will put my contact information in the description and in the pinned comment for when I am available again. 
And remember, in tabletop RPGs, you are not telling stories about your characters, you are experiencing the game world as your characters. Once again, thank you and see you later.